So that will be uh, eight hours class until midnight. Here we are with Chan from Korea. We need some fluid now, otherwise it's pretty good. Take off the autopilot, flight director, and autopilot. Hi, I'm Gamal Giordi, a passionate flight instructor who also flies the Citation 5 jet. I finally decided to get my dream airplane ratings, the Boeing 737NG in Florida, United States. This will be a very challenging 14 days PIC type rating training and I'm so excited to be very well prepared before I start the training. I'll do my best to share my daily life as a new trainee till I get my ratings. Hope you enjoy and please give me some useful tips on my training. Enjoy this new series and welcome aboard. Good morning everyone! Welcome to the new episode. This is the first day of my training. Alright, so now it's about what's the time? 10 a.m. in the morning and I'm keep busy studying about the vertical situation display, the VSD of 737NG. Preparing myself today is the flight instrument day. I'm gonna learn about uh, the warning system, um, GPS, um, the class will be started at 4 p.m. until 12 midnight. And now, what are we gonna do? I'm preparing my breakfast. <laughs> Yay, we're cooking steak. So let's get started and then I'm getting ready, continuing study, and we go to the training center. Okay, now it's cooking time. Our steak is already well cooked, medium rare, and that's the ribeye Angus beef. Do you like that the steak? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little different with our um, normally beef. We usually use the Wagyu MB9, but today we try um, Angus beef from US. Yeah, the texture, the taste of the beef is slightly different, but it's still great, right? Okay, so let's enjoy the steak and then after this we'll continue study and get ready to the training center. Okay, so from this place to the airport is about uh, 2.5 or 3 miles. So it's not that far. By driving a car, it will take around 10 minutes or 15. So let's get going. I'm really excited for the first day of Boeing training. This will be very intensive ground school. We plan to discuss about circling approach and tech rat scenario for the first session of the ground school. All right guys, so finally here we are. Arrived at the center, the training center. And I will go in and submit all the data that I have. And let's take a look to the classroom. Alright, so that's the classroom. So that will be uh, eight hours class until midnight today. Alright, so let's get ready and prepare. Alright guys, so here we are with Chan from Korea. If you remember Squid Game, you better ask him. <laughs> so you're here for the Squid Game. So we're waiting for another student. His name is Mark. He's pretty senior. Uh, Sean is 36 years old. It's almost the same with me. He's commercial pilot from the FAA and now working with Korean Air. Um, and hopefully you will get a job as a pilot soon, right? I'm so happy to have Sean as my partner. He is a very nice person and hardworking pilot. He is a FA commercial pilot who has a big dream to become an airline pilot and self-sponsor his training. We really met as a team and I think our CRM will work so well. Captain Morvan is my instructor for day one. He is very talented and helped me to explore my strength point and improve my weaknesses. We discuss about system, check out plan and how to fly JFK circling approach. Any master caution, noise, anything you feel uncomfortable, Stop! You abort the takeoff. You reject the takeoff for anything. 
in the master course. What is the the, the, the the techniques, okay? What he's looking at, both of you, the captains, because you guys will be on both seats, okay? Okay. The morning pilot flying. So the pilot flying, the captain, during the reject, we do three things. Reject, or say stop, or whatever you say, power to idle, speed brake up, and reversers. So power to idle, speed brakes up, and reverse it. The steep turn, that's, I gotta put here your PFD. Okay, so you're gonna do a steep turn at 250 knots at 5,000. Okay, so what the check airman is looking at, what you should be doing is bank 10, 20, 30, 45. 45 degree of bank, airplane symbol between the 2.5 and 5 degree mark. Put the airplane symbol right there, touching the upper bar. If you're doing this, you're not gonna increase altitude, and if you don't increase altitude, your airspeed is not gonna vary. So that's the big main character here, is your airplane symbol between the first two lines. Of course, if you like go to Airbus style, you can have the bird, they call the bird, the flight path vector, okay? Right in the middle of the horizon, okay? That's technique, so there is. QRH will tell to um, use outer flap switch, okay? So pilot monitor is doing all the action, right? It's guarded, so pilot monitor will get, captain agree, agree, open up and arm. Then the next QRH will tell you to Press the toggle down for one second. So don't do it. You get ready. Captain, are you ready for flaps? Because the airplane will gonna go all over the place. Wow. Well, take the tip. Captain, autopilot off. Get hands on the airplane. Then you say, okay, the point flaps. Otherwise, the airplane will make come some like crazy turns, okay? So autopilot off, hand fly, flap, the pro drop the flaps. You drop one second and you just wait until all the flaps goes down. That's a uh, training edge flaps, okay? Flaps and slats. Let's take about a minute. On the day one, we spent about seven hours of ground class and it's very concise and accurate study to cover systems and procedures. Before attending this ground school, we had accomplished our computer-based training materials and now the ground school is more to oral preparation. I have a type rating training in the level D full flight simulator. I need to be very prepared on my basic flying skills, automation management, and of course, the advanced instrument flying. Hello guys, this is my first session simulator time. This is the day one of the flight training. So I just passed my written exam. I got 90% of score. Uh, that's not 100%, but it's okay as long as I pass. And today is the day one of the first flight simulator uh, session we're gonna do. Um, some practices like stall, steep turn, and do the fundamental basic flying in the 737, which is we already covered it before when we do like sim session bonus. But now um, we will get into more detail on the AFCOM and what is the procedures. And finally, uh, we'll try to apply more strategies in the FMC because when we talk about the FMCs, uh, when we fly, uh, the ATC will give us like correct to intercept the heading. So we need to modify um, our strategy with the FMC. And hopefully this will be great. I try to uh, give you some ideas, some footage of how we do the training. And today we also will simulate the upset rec uh, recovery training. So this will be four hours uh, total sessions and two hours and two hours between me and my partner. So enjoy guys. Take off the autopilot, flight director, and auto flaps. Tomorrow's an idle. Bumping alert. Book at uh, something. Bump alert. See what it says? Bump alert. But anyway, that tells him, okay, I'm, and if you said that, bump alert, we'd get out of it before we get into it. Yeah. 
Now, we are doing a stall maneuvers. There are three types of stall air work that we need to do on the check ride. They are clean stall, departure stall, and approach to land stalls. Thanks, Trevor. Five degrees. You know, that's all. We're already out of it. We don't let it come up. Keep a pencil with it. Yeah. Fire up in space. As the excess power comes in, the feathers go up. The rise up with the feathers. My best tips for stall recovery is steadily set the pitch for 5 degree when recover and then climb the 10 degree pitch initially. Just be careful for the secondary stall. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. The main key of the steep turn in Boeing 737 is the power and pitch. With roughly 60 to 63 tons gross weight and at 5,000 feet altitude, set the pitch between 2.5 to 5 degree and 68% and one power with 5% tolerance. We practiced a lot of approaches. To qualify as FAA pilot in command type rating holder, we need to master four approaches. New York Kennedy will be the main focus, and the approaches are ILS 04 right that will be done two times, our NAV 22, localizer 04 right circling approach to runway 31 right. The weather situation always set to total IMC down to the approach minimum. This is so great training to improve my instrument flying skill. I really have fun on this. The secret technique to land the 737 is a precise energy management. Break the glide around 40 feet and start flare and hold the pitch at 20 feet with fixed thrust setting. To make a good landing, I have made an N1 no less than 50% plus minus 5% depending on the weight. With 3 degree pitch until touchdown, we put the thrust idle around 10 feet and it will land smoothly. In the next episode, I will share my abnormal flight training such as engine failure, engine fire, APU fire, flaps asymmetry, and others. Thanks for watching, share this video, and feel free to ask me about the easiest step to become a Boeing 737 pilot. Until next time, fly safe always. How are you, Mark? Well, amazing training for us. And so we're hoping the fuel truck is not too late. That's just reality. Alright, so this is the same.